Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here. So for today's lesson, I figured we'd go over fixed camera positions like in Final Fantasy. Some of their games have the fixed camera positions in training cards or in different scenes. And that allows the player to actually enjoy the scene a lot better, the scenery, the environment. This camera also was used in like Resident Evil, Parasite Eve, tons of different games. So let's jump into this. First of all, I want to show you guys an amazing page by Alex. And uh, he did this whole blog on fixed camera positions. So let's uh, let's just go over kind of the key points in this blog. And I will also be linking this uh, down in the description down below. So if you guys want to actually go and check it out, I won't be going over everything in here, uh, but I will be going over some. So he like the fixed positions like in Final Fantasy in Resident Evil, like I said, uh, this was used. He goes over kind of the key points where you're going to set uh, points and then you're going to have one camera and the camera is going to be jumping to these points for the different shots, the different scenes. And it's, it's a really simple script. Uh, here is the script right here. Um, so we'll be using this right here. We'll be using this right here. I won't be using this and I won't be using the handles because he does make handles for the cube that you can move around and reposition for these shots. Whichever way the cube is facing is where the camera is going to be repositioning to face also. So let's just kind of jump into the scene here, what I kind of put together. So we have two different rooms here. Whenever I go into this room, we're going to switch to a different position. We have a position, a cube here, whichever way it's facing. So it's facing towards the center of the cube, as you can tell from the rotation. And then we do have a trigger. And you're gonna drag and drop the cube onto the trigger. And this will be the target shot, which will be this, which will be the camera. Don't pay any attention to the player just yet. I'll go over that later on. That's something that I added. Uh, here is another cube here, and this will be another shot. Uh, here is the trigger for that one so when they come back in and they hit this trigger it's going to switch to this camera. What I have is I already have a main camera in the scene so I set up a camera here so what you will want to do is go to game object camera and select it and then make sure that the tag is main camera because you will need a main camera unless you uh, take out the main camera and just put camera in the script which I'll go over right now. So I copy and I paste this cut to shot here and then I copied and paste the shot zone. So what this is saying is on trigger enter when the collider with the tag player enters the collider it's going to switch the camera this one camera right here to here. Depending on how many you have it'll keep switching them to those so you'll do the scene you'll uh, take your view that you have and whenever they get out of the scene is when you're going to have the next collider and so on and so on. So let's jump in the game here and check this out. All right, so here we are in scene. So here's the camera, the cube is facing the center here. And whenever I hit this collider, it's going to jump the camera from there to here to this checkpoint. And this is how you make the games, Final Fantasy, the series, Parasite Eve, uh, Resident Evil, so I hit this cube here, and it's going to switch the camera back to this. So let's see if I can actually just put this here. So the camera is here. Let me just go into this room. The camera switches to here. So this other code that I added in here, let me just uncomment this out. So if you want a camera to actually follow your character We'll do something like this, transform.look at new vector 3, player position x on the y and z. We have a public transform player and that's what this is going to get. It's going to get our player character wherever he is right here. And it's going to drag and drop him in. Oh, I didn't save it. So what this is going to do is it's going to drag and drop the player into this transform spot because I did put if there is no player model in there then it's going to 
get the which is player equals game object find object of tag. So as long as he's tagged as a player, it's going to get it and put it in. So you don't have to put this in the player model transform into every cube. It will automatically do it for you. So now when we're in game, the camera will actually stay at that fixed position. Let me just move this over here. It'll stay at this fixed position, but it will actually follow the player. So now that we hit this, it's over here and it's actually following the player model. So if you're doing a level, like if they're infiltrating like a reactor core or something like that, or a military base, and you have the other team at the outside, they're watching the surveillance camera, as you try to infiltrate to keep an eye on the main character to make sure that he's safe or she's safe you could do something like that but this is just another way I will link uh, Alex's site down in the description down below so you can actually make the handles if you want if you're doing like a Final Fantasy game or whatever you want to use it for and so all credits uh, for this script actually goes to Alex like I said, I did modify this if you wanted to use the kind of security camera version. I do have a RTS game where I have a uh, shake, kind of a nuke, uh, where it shakes the camera a bit whenever like a nuke launches. If you want and you want to do like a mountain pass and there's like a rock slide and you want the camera to shake a bit, or if there's a volcano, slowly erupting in the distance and you want the camera to shake a little bit you can go check out the RTS camera that I had did and take that code too and throw that in this uh, for like I said like if you're doing like a mountain or a volcano or something like that you can use your imagination for when you're making stuff like cameras to do whatever you want when you make a video game you're playing God basically for creating a world like whatever you imagine, as long as you have the imagination for it, you can create it. And that's something I love about game design development. You can create whatever you want, as long as you have the imagination for it. So like in Final Fantasy, they do have lightning effects. You can do stuff like uh, if there's lightning and you want when it strikes the ground to shake too, you can use that also for that. Um, oh, and uh, one last thing before we go. So if you're doing a game like, uh, Spyro or something like that and you want you can actually set like a camera position here on the cliff You can set one here You can set one here and then like one here and then like all over the map And then you can have a box going here a box going here a box going here And whenever they enter this box this camera will turn on it'll face down You can either have it follow or have it stationary when they hit this point then it will turn on this one they go back you'll have another box here so when they hit that this one will turn back on and then when they go over here this one will turn on so on and so forth but anyways yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did leave a like comment down below if you have any troubles let me know and i'll try to help you guys out and like i said i will be leaving a link for alex's blog down below if you guys want to go check that out and uh give him credit for it he did an amazing job with this camera system uh, it's really simple, really easy to use. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.